Hey everyone, welcome back to Quant Prof. Today we're going to solve a Jane Street Quant interview question. Check the description for more Quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. We have 12 coins. Three of them have a probability of heads equal to 1 by 2. Another three of them have a probability of heads equal to 1 by 3. Another three of them have a probability of heads equal to 1 by 5. And the last three have a probability of heads equal to 1 by 9. If the 12 coins are tossed, what is the probability that the total number of heads is odd? Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Here's the solution. Let's set aside the top right fair coin and call the remaining 11 coins the green coins. Let P be the probability that the total number of heads among the green coins is odd. So the probability that the total number of heads among the green coins is even is 1 minus P. The total number of heads among all the coins will be odd if the green coins show an odd number of heads and the last fair coin lands on tails, or the green coins show an even number of heads and the last fair coin lands on heads. The probability of the first case is P and into 1 by 2. The probability of the second case is 1 minus p into 1 by 2. So using the law of total probability, the required probability is p into 1 by 2 plus 1 minus p into 1 by 2. Therefore, the answer is 1 by 2. Let's consider another problem. A fair six-sided die is rolled 10 times. Let xi represent how often the number i appears in these 10 rolls. What is the expected value of x1 times x2 times x3 and so on till x6? Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory specifically tailored for Quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.